Most people in America are struggling with one thing, and that is understanding how bad publicity can ruin a corporation and everything. Bad publicity is when an employee knows the law and refuses to follow the law because they think they're above it all. They think they'll never get caught, but they don't know what is discoverable versus non-discoverable. They also might have a manager or general manager that supports them in their brawl. The problem is it's a form of technological abuse. The problem is it could be a form of physical abuse that is delivered in the night. But here's the truth. It doesn't make it right. Whenever your employee meets a guest outside of your community, or excuse me, I apologize, a visitor to your community or a visitor to your shop or a visitor to the block in which your store is upon, you are liable. You see, there will be no other reason for that individual to know your people. If you have employees that are harassers in the community and it is reported to you, then you better pay attention because they'll do their best to lie to you and say, it's not me, it's that person there. And that's the lie they tell themselves. You have plenty of ill-gotten, ill-willed, immoral, and frankly, immature employees paid at a low wage. And we know that in every store, every single retail store across America has a poorly trained employee. It's not an issue to most companies because they know the trouble with attrition and retention. The attrition rate for companies is tough today in retail because American families are not training their children what work is and isn't today. In America, however, companies, just like school systems, have the opportunity to retrain people's thinking and mindset to the truth of life today. The truth of life today is you don't get paid for simply merely showing up, and you don't get paid for simply knowing a few things of the job. I worked myself out of an employee position that wasn't exactly retail, but it was sort of worked that way, that didn't have any exchange of money. Thank God I did that long ago, and I don't post that on my LinkedIn profile. But things that have been posted on my profile are not your right to pay attention to is not true if we're connected of course between me and you because of our conversation because of our intriguing invitation then that's okay by me and you but if you're using that profile to harm people then you really are facing a lawsuit today what i'm talking about is how ill-gotten ill-willed ill-behaved immature employees can run roughshod over the quality employees in a retail establishment. Risk management helps people to know what their risks are. Risk management alerts a corporation to the risks of bad publicity in the newspaper or on the news of television that they'll never get wind of until it's too late. Risk management is recognizing when you've got an employee who was never properly trained out of the gate. And risk management associates the manager of a shop immediately with that responsibility. It also immediately honks off the corporation because they thought they paid that person to train the employee or they decided not to waste money on training today because of the problems with retention. If you have a local store that has great struggle with retention, then you've got two problems in your community. First and foremost, you've got an economic chamber or chamber of economics, is, which is sometimes the backward uh, of economic development that they often call it, or some sort of a, mm, they used to call it a Main Street kind of group that is failing miserably to work in the school systems to educate young people about their opportunities coming out of high school or college. Secondly, you've got then corporations that are choosing not to spend the money appropriately on investing in people, not only in the recruitment of their bodies and their hands and their their souls and their minds to work appropriately, but basically you've got local people that aren't training people correctly. You're letting their personalities take over your stores and shops, and that is immoral today. We don't expect the full standardized, I'm not going to be myself on the job type of a view that other countries do and other societies around the globe do, but we are most definitely going to be paying attention to the behaving employees who mask their alcoholism with their attitudes and their, I'm going to win this 
I'm going to ruin that guy. I'm going to make up for nothing. I'm going to fix this by putting it all on that person. And that, as you know, is the wrong attitude for any company to have to suffer through in bad publicity today. No, she got what he did.